High value. What is it, I ask? And depending on who you ask, you will get no clear answer. And the reason for why I think that that happens is due to how I find it to be a complete and utter lie of a phrase in today's society. Because once again, what is high value? What is your definition of a high value man? It doesn't matter. Like, just say, what is a high-value man? It's the first part of the tweet. What does that mean? You tell me what is high these things. Answer. What is that? So here's the thing. What is a high-value man? But the very fact that you're even asking me, what is your definition of high-value man? This you tell, again, if I'm asking as somebody who's really interested in the red pill. I listen to a lot of this content. I want to know what your definition is. Because oh, here's what, here's, okay. So here's what I think a guys ought to do. Which what is a woman? Can you tell me that? But I must say first and foremost, hey, yo. I'm toasted uh, ideas and here I talk about things that interest me I like to think about things critically and have my own opinion because then I'm not a sheep to any specific person or thing I cover topics from the left to topics from the right while also not forgetting about the topics in the middle of absolutely nowhere now Continuing on, as although that clip was of Rolo Tomasovi completely avoiding the question of what is high value, what I really want to go over is what I find to be the two front runners of this whole red pill shtick. Fresh and fit. And although Rolo might be spineless with his words, what I call to be high value is a man that leads with truth, honesty, reliability, self-control, and consistency with their words and actions. All of which I find that fresh and fit lack, although they call themselves high value. So just to wrap that up, they said sacrifice, money, fitness, selfish mindset, network, and finally, don't care about what others think about you. And how can you be a strong leader when you don't care about people questioning your position? That sounds like a fantastic way to become invisible to everyone. You know, like what's the golden rule? Do unto others as you want done unto you. If you stonewall, then expect to be stonewalled back either now or later. And about the selfish mindset, that sounds like a really fantastic way to die alone. And that to me just does not speak high value. Which this would be the point of where I make note of how both high value men are single and only have S through money and fame. And go figure that the person who claims a selfish mindset to be of a high value man's way is also the same man who defends men cheating as men are quote unquote hardwired to fridge as many women as possible and that having S is like peeing to them and that women are more emotionally involved than men. Which is why on my list of high value traits I put self control on there. Because as a man, as men, we are but our nature. But when all you do is act upon that, then you become no different from everyone else. And if you as a man are completely bound by your most nature to nature inhibitions, that being reproduction, then I find you to be a weak nothing burger. Because you are a drop in the bucket of men on earth. And when you are the same thing as almost anyone, then I would call you low value. Because to be high value, you must produce a material in human that isn't found in other properties of that same type. I can go outside and basically pick and choose who is a selfish man. Because there are so many men who are selfish that I would most likely only choose selfish men when picking. Though, to continue on. Because another reason for my problem on that statement of high value being about not caring about uh, what others think about you is that by doing so, you get rid of all emotion in that man. And my position on this has changed through growth. 
but as I see it now, is that to be a man who doesn't feel emotion is to be on the same wavelength of weakness and gullible. When you are unable to understand your emotions and know what they are and where they come from, then that is when you open yourself up to scams and lies. And when you don't care about how you feel about what uh, people say about you, then you are subsequently closing off your ability to, ability to understand the emotions you feel about public outcry. And, just to bring attention, what do we see in Fresh? He got a lady who they both claim through and throughout their entire podcast career to be in complete disagreement with. I have to be careful what they want me for. That being yeah. said, this shorty that here, bro, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> that shorty there, bro, wants me for me, 100%. All right, that's that's right. Right. You, you said she was very different from every girl you meet in Miami when I've heard you speak about every girl in Miami before. You generalized. No, that being said, when I met her, I saw she hadn't been tainted yet. She had to be like in certain circles where like, you know what? Damn, she's gone through the streets. What does it mean that she's different than not thinking like a Miami girl? I yes. just pointed you out I know, someone. Like, okay. like really explain that because I've heard he, you say. See, I am a very big personality person. So if he came up to me and he just came and was like, hey, let me get your number. That's a no for me. And moreover, Fresh lies when he says that he has quadruple the body count. Like nobody has ever believed him when he said that from the very beginning because it is obviously a, f a lie. No cap. You ready for it? It's over a thousand. I'm dead ass serious. And remember, I told you, right? I told you about Barbados win. So basically, guys, I'm gonna break it for you, right? So do that right now. So in Barbados, right? I can tell you before. There's a whole culture of coming from UK, coming from like, you know, uh, Italy. Beta! He's dishonest about where he met her. Like, he goes on a weird rant that about literally nothing in the search for an excuse as to why she's not like other girls kind of shtick, you know? He goes, he does a whole entire circle jerk about trying to find a, an excuse for that. We use trigger sites, right, to hit up girls, and we don't pay a cent, and go with them, we get it for free. So, that being said, she told me, hey, I was on Seeking, and I said, bet. I go in there anyway, saw the chicks. I told you, she ain't tell you on the yacht, nigga. Nigga, we went on multiple days after the yacht. She's like, yo, I gotta be honest with you. Right? It wasn't a red flag when you found out she's on seeking arrangements and she decided to come link with you only when you were on the yacht. No, 100% not. Bro, in Miami, almost every girl you see that's, that's good looking, bro. And to top it off, he's clearly got no game in his body whatsoever. Man really walks around with CEO everywhere on him and then makes vlogs about being in expensive cars with an attractive woman in Miami while saying that he has game. He said, wait, you know this trick? So he pulls up this, this girl's profile because you can see who's following somebody they just added from like the following list. I was like, yeah, I know her, bro. I used to like do her back in the day. Walter sounds like an eighth grader who heard his older brother refer to sex as doing someone. To all the lovely women watching this, how many of you have already realized that this guy is a complete fabrication of a ladies' man? What's more pathetic is this guy and his partner, Myron Gaines, are seen as the voice of men's improvement on YouTube. And so, what do I bring back up? My own definition of a high value man. And my reason for doing so is because if every man walked around with my definition, then crap like what Fresh does would not happen. If Fresh had self-control, then he would know that she looks at him purely for money and wouldn't be in that situation because it does not benefit him mentally. And if he had honesty, then he would be able to speak with his chest out rather than be looked down upon for doing exactly what they talk against. If he lived in truth, then he would understand where he stands in a place like Miami and then go find a woman without Miami ideals. And if he lived a life of being reliable, then he wouldn't be actively spitting in the face of his friends by him pulling this dumbass move with her. Because he made both of his friends look like fools for having him there because all he did with having her was prove all of what they, fresh and fit, say as a complete nothing burger because he clearly does not live a life of consistency. And perhaps you can tell me, but how can you trust someone who isn't consistent with their words and actions? Now, 
I realize that I haven't talked much about fate in this, although I have lumped him in with Fresh in the duo of lacking, and my reason for doing such is due to the already dead and beaten horse that is his own wrongdoings, which Fresh is at the very least clear of for the most due to how he doesn't talk much, but rather just lets Fit take on the reins in every conversation. So everything negative that he does is just as bad as when Fresh does it, because Fresh hurts the business on the inside, but Fit hurts the business just by mere glance in that direction. For starters, once again, he gets with women who he disagrees with vehemently, or I would at least guess on how he treats the women on his show. We want, we want burning desire from ladies. Ain't that what they say? Right? You want to get their best, so you got to earn it. Come to find out, this man's telling girls in the DMs that if they want to come on the platform, they have to fuck. And if they don't, he gets upset about it and he gets all pissy. Oh, you fucked all my other boys. You won't fuck me, then you can't get on the platform. So wait, you want to bang a girl who just wants to come on the platform for clout? And you think that's burning desire? He lies about promiscuous women being bad for women, because if he actually agreed with that sentiment, then he would not feed into that promiscuity because all it does is harm both of them. She's still promiscuous and fit has words as strong as a slight breeze. Even more, what I find really distasteful is you come to find out that Myron Gaines himself, right, the so-called pickup artist, the master, has his own Seeking Arrangements account, his own profile, all right? This is on the web, you can find it. This man's out here talking about don't pay for box, don't pay for box. He's on a website for sugar daddies and sugar babies. Okay, all right, you want to be a giant hypocrite? Do your thing. He is dishonest when it comes to beef with other people because all he does is fight the physical nature of his enemies rather than the actual ideals spread by them. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like See? actual fight. Mm. I would, no, let's put some gloves That's on. What I'm saying. Yeah. We put some gloves on. We box it out. You said you've been nice in the gym and you want to box me out. Let's go. But is this a two on two or is mm. this just you taking it's on me versus one bitch. Then I take the other. That's what wow. I said. I was living at the place. Do you stand by those comments today? I said what I said. And on the same wavelength of Fresh being bad for business, Fresh is just as bad for business because he has no clue when it comes to keeping a business alive in today's timeline. Because from his actions in the past couple years, he has done nothing but sabotage any re reputation that they once held among a growing group of boys. They have been racist. You guys have not proved nothing and you fucking niggas. Millionaires now invest back in the business, get called out by a fucking racist KKK member out of Tennessee. Sexist. You warn guys about girls like me. So now that we're face to face, what kind of girl am I? You're not special. You're like other girls. That's I'm key. not special. You're like, so, you're like other women that are. So like what makes you special then? And been with people who are anti-Semitic. What is Nick Fuentes coming on talking about Jews saying the N-word a bunch of times and you know chopping it up with a white supremacist have to do with saving men? Questionably pedophilic. 16-year-old minors are more attractive than adult women. <laughs> Abusive. What I will do, instead of actually getting rid of her, I'll keep her, I'll keep fucking her, but I'll fuck her different. And I'm gonna change on such a small level, that will hurt her more than even losing you. Power hungry filth. Will they divorce or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce, that's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically yeah, abusive? You gotta endure, people are too- You wanna stick in the relationship? People are just, I mean, look, people nowadays are just situation. For anyone that might be in that situation, what would you recommend? Okay, Anything endure. To well, at least I've never been arrested for glassing a bitch. And he's like, yo, why are you so sensitive? You, you, are you gonna leave next? So that's the, the MLD saying like, why are you so sensitive? Why are you bringing that up? And the guy says, I'm not sensitive, just giving back some. And then MLD says, you act like that's the last bitch I'll smite on this planet. Well, do you think you have healthy habits? Yeah. Spineless. Let's fucking do it. Hey, guys, when we speak, everyone raise no, your hand. No, raise no, your no, hand. No, no, no. Raise your hand. No, 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 no. So we take turns. No, 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 no. And untrustworthy men. What is your definition of a high value man? It doesn't matter. Like, just say, what is a high value man? It's the first part of the tweet. What does that mean? You tell me what a high value man is. Oh, the is. fastest way to becoming a high value man is these things. Right? What is that? So here's the thing. What is a high value man? But the very fact that you're even asking this in the first place is the actual point of the fucking tweet. What is your definition of high value man? This is the number one talked about topic on all of these shows. And so I want to get a clear definition from you. What is it? You tell, again, it depends on the person. Look, I'm asking as somebody who's really interested in the red pill. I listen to a lot of this content. I want to know what your definition is. Because if you have a definition that's completely off of what I think it is, then I guess I'm not red pill. Well, here's what, here's, okay. So here's what I think guys ought to do. And so in the search for being high value, which as put by Fitz seeking account is being tall, having money and abs, he, in my eyes, could be no closer to the terms low and non-existent in the place of a leader. 
And the same goes for, for Tweedledee Dumb Fresh. They both lie, they're both dishonest, and they both are, are an ox gilded in gold. A complete and utter false set of leaders. And they're such false leaders that they are even having issues of leading themselves to continued greatness. But, I think that that's just about enough for this idea. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are down below. If you disagree, let me know why. And in the same... And the same thing goes for agreement, because all voices are welcome. Just be safe with your words, because we are still on YouTube. But, while you're down there, please consider hitting that subscribe button to become a fellow bread bag, and also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video, and so that they might hit that subscribe button to become a f to join the bread box. Because once again, we need more bread. Though, aside from that, I hope to see you in the next video, and until then, have a good one.